are any of you guys feeling unmotivated stagnant bored with your life and or lost with no purpose if that's the case then this video is for you i'm going to teach you guys a few tips and tricks on how to manifest your best year yet and it all begins with your mindset Today is going to be a 2024 prep. My intention for 2024 is to make 2024 my biatch. Okay, y'all. I want 2024 to be a year of evolving, learning, growing. I want to work hard, but all while loving what I do. We are setting the intention out there that 2024 is going to be our year. I think that if we really want to create habits that'll stick in 2024, we're going to have to start sooner so that those habits can be unlocked. You know what I mean? Like we have it down before the year starts. Learn them sooner. When the year comes, you'll have it down. So the first thing we're going to do is reflect. I have my little journal here and I wrote just six questions, six super easy questions, but this is the time time to really think about the questions and reflect we are not doing surface level reflecting today if you really dig deep it can really help you move into the next year your best number one overall how do you feel about 2023 what are things you're happy you experienced or learned what would you have done differently top three significant moments how was i different than 2022 and what did i accomplish i think it's really important that you guys reflect on your year because it gives you time to think okay what can i improve on what did i do really well at and what am i going to continue doing what am i going to bring into the next year and what am i not gonna bring the girlies who want to grow are the girlies who are gonna reflect after we've done a little bit of reflecting let's clear out our energies for example your clothes if you guys have old clothes you guys don't even wear and they're from years ago now is the time to declutter and let them go i did this recently it was really hard because i'm low-key a fashion hoarder but i did it literally everything carries energy so if you guys have stuff in your space that is weighing you down holds bad memories holds memories from a time that you didn't feel your best it's time to let them go but also this kind of just gives you room to reinvent yourself and get new clothes that match your style a lot more the next thing we're gonna do now is evaluate our life now so think to yourself are there people in your life giving you negative energies are there habits you do daily that are not really helping your future or at least they're not really helping you get to where you want to be are there things you do weekly that are not really healthy for your body healthy for your future negative energies can hold you back in more ways than you think like if you guys are partying and drinking every single week which I used to do that I had my fair share of that we all know that's not really healthy it's not really a good lifestyle and over time like you don't think it's impacting you but it really is because you think you're just partying for one weekend but if you look at the grand scheme of things it was two years and you partied almost every single weekend and those weekends you probably could have taken more time to focus on yourself align with your higher self or even just set goals and you could have even achieved a lot more goals had you just stayed home if that makes sense are you eating things that make you feel good or are you eating things that make you feel sluggish? After reevaluating how your life is looking now, this is the time for you to start showing up for yourself. So if you're eating things that are super unhealthy, now's the time to switch it up and eat things that are more healthy. If you guys are always saying, oh, I'm gonna go to the gym and you guys never end up actually going to the gym, now's the time to show up for yourself and be like, you know what, I'm gonna go once a week. Now I'm gonna go twice a week. Now I'm gonna go three times a week and slowly build it from there. I think one of the quickest ways to show up for yourself is to build a routine and actually stick to the routine. Once you stick to a routine, routine every single day you can trust that your tuesday is gonna look this way you can trust that your wednesday is gonna look this way my routine is to always edit on tuesdays and wednesdays those are my editing days you're not gonna see me out unless i'm at the gym but if i'm not at the gym i'm gonna stay my ass home and i'm gonna be editing my videos so i can have it up because that's how you build routine but also self-discipline and once you build self-discipline it builds a lot of self-esteem it builds a lot of trust within yourself and trust is really important if you're gonna walk through this life achieving your goals because if you have no trust in yourself no self-esteem it's gonna be really hard for you to do things and be really proud of yourself you're gonna do it from a place of scarcity rather than doing it from a place of trust of true confidence for me it is my routine to work out five times a week i do it every single week and that's how i build trust within myself because i know that i'm capable of doing something like that building self-trust is the most important thing which is why i say build a routine because building a routine can be your first step it can lead you into higher self-esteem so the next thing we have to do is figure out where where do we want to go what are our goals what does our higher self look like what does she do what does she feel we need to think and align and when we can align with what we want we can attract what we want the first thing i did when it came to aligning with who i want to be i had to sit down and meditate or at least just sit in my thoughts I had my crystals in my hand literally just think what do i really want and also don't be scared to dream big what we're doing here is manifestation like we're going to be manifesting the life that we want and we're not going to hold back if you get scared and you start being like oh i'm going to make realistic 
realistic goals, blah, blah, blah. I don't give a fuck. We are not trying to make realistic goals here. We're gonna be dreaming big. If you can dream big and do it with no fear, trust me, you're gonna get closer to that goal than if you set a short goal. Like if you do a short goal compared to a large goal, at least if you chase the large goal, you're gonna hit the middle instead of like being down here. You know what I mean? Dream big. And also once you dream big and you do it confidently and you're like, you don't give a fuck, like you know you're gonna achieve it. That sounds like an energy momentum for the universe to be like, okay, she wants this. We're gonna get the ball rolling for her for this exact goal or whatever she wants. Like if you're setting a goal and you're like, okay, I'm gonna do this because it's more realistic. Literally deep down, it's telling the universe, I'm setting this goal because I don't think I can be up there, but I can be here. And it already creates like this negative energy with the intention of your goals because you already don't think you're good enough. And that low self-esteem is already gonna affect your manifestation. So what we're doing is we're dreaming big. Don't be scared. The whole reason why society is so scared to dream big is because we're all just so afraid to fail. We've all been conditioned to be like, oh, if I dream big, I'm gonna look stupid. If I don't achieve it, then I'm gonna look stupid. Or if I dream big, I'm gonna look delusional. If I dream big, people are gonna make fun of me. Who cares? Literally, who cares? Because all the people who succeed in the world are the people who do not care. And the moment you stop caring about the voices around you, that's when you can start listening, listening to the voice, to the voice in, in here and you can start achieving this goal here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create like a little dream board, but we are not making the surface level, okay? Think deep and think about what you really wanna achieve. Think about what makes your stomach tingle because you really can achieve everything you want. So recently I created this dream board and it wasn't like on a board, I just made it my lock screen. When I tell y'all the shit on that shit, low key manifested, not even low key, very high key. Everything I put on that dream board totally manifested. Like I wanted to be a yoga girl. That's exactly what happened. I wanted to make money. I secured the most deals in November. I wanted to take care of my self care, which is what I've been doing. I wanna smell good. I wanna have good energy. I wanna learn, I wanna grow. All I do is listen to podcasts these days. All I do is things for me. So those things manifested. It is so crazy. So what I'm trying to say is y'all need to make a vision board that makes you guys so excited, so happy, so inspired because this is gonna take your manifestation goals so far, okay? The thing about energy is that it is in constant motion. Whatever energy that you give more energy to is what's gonna build momentum. So if you're having scarcity mindset, self-limiting beliefs, and that's what you're focusing on, that's what you're gonna continue to manifest. But again, energy is always in motion. So you can always focus on other things if you want to manifest your goals create a vision board once you do that you're setting the intention out there and the universe is gonna be like mm, she's focusing on this a little bit mm, we're gonna get the ball rolling on this one trust me the more you do something you love every single day the more the universe is gonna help you on building momentum for that exact thing so i created my vision board for my laptop home screen and also for my lock screen on my phone so that i can look at it every single day which is really nice you'll never forget your goals but the next thing you guys can do is get a journal and write down your goals for the year literally just write every single thing you want to achieve personally for me i think it's just really important to see my goals because i'm more of a visual learner but writing it down can help you understand what your goals are a little bit more clearer even though you don't see them written down every single day unless you guys write it and stick it like somewhere in your room put it on a mirror in front of your bathroom mirror where you do your makeup but personally for me i'm more of a vision board girl but i think writing is also really helpful all right so if we want to move into 2024 being our best we need to do our shadow work now's the time to think about things that may be holding you back and reflect don't be scared to look weak this is what we call healing guys and sometimes i know it can be really hard like for me but you need to drop that ego and really think okay what's holding me back what is hurting me what is making me feel hmm, a little bit uncomfortable and invite the feeling and let it exist when you have embarrassing moments or you guys have traumas the last thing we need to do is suppress the emotions you hold with them and what i'm asking of you guys is not to tell the world you know i know it's really hard to talk about things that carry a lot of weight what you guys should do instead is just think about it and let the feeling exist acknowledge it and when you acknowledge it you guys can decide from there what you guys want to do with that like for me i'll be like oh this is not bothering me this is not bothering me no 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 but in reality it's actually bothering me and i can't even acknowledge it myself because i will number one won't tell the world but i also won't even tell myself and because i won't tell myself i am building all of this resistance inside all this tension it needs to be released but it's not being released and it's causing me to have more anxiety the reason why a lot of us have anxiety is because we feel things that we don't allow to just simply exist a thought is just a thought feeling is just a feeling feelings and thoughts can't hurt you 
you you just need to acknowledge them and allow them to exist when you guys think about joy when was the last time it lasted longer than a few minutes but think about anxiety and depression how long does that usually last days weeks months years that is because anxiety and depression are symptoms of not releasing your tensions and it builds up inside so now's the time to heal and be vulnerable with yourself it's okay guys it's not scary i promise you guys that when you guys can admit things that your body just wants to say it'll make you feel a lot better once you heal this totally drastically helps with mental health this is what i've done to release a lot of my anxiety we are healing we are moving into 2024 with a growth mindset once you heal you can grow if you don't heal it's really difficult to grow if you don't heal it can really create a lot of self-limiting beliefs that are so engraved in you that you cannot even see it you can say you have self-love but are you really treating yourself with self-love and also with healing i feel like i can find so much more gratitude in the things in my life that i used to not be able to find gratitude from when i tell you guys 2023 was a roller coaster i felt so much resistance in the beginning of the year because my ego wouldn't allow me to change i wouldn't allow myself to change it was really difficult i wanted to but i wasn't healed i was definitely in some of the darkest places i've ever been this past year now that i'm healed i can find gratitude in those tough times now i can be like those actually shaped me into who i am now those moments made me so much grateful for my life those moments make me so much grateful for where i am now heal have some compassion for yourself drop the ego be vulnerable and i promise you guys are going to be able to find more gratitude in your life the next thing we are definitely doing for 2024 is moving our body more a goal of mine for 2023 was to get into the gym and that's exactly what i did but gymming is a lifestyle and so i'm definitely moving that into 2024 because i want to continue being a girly who goes to the gym you know which moves me into my next goal which is starting new hobbies or learning new skills a lot of times we build a lot of anxiety and feel a little depressed because we have a set routine but this routine becomes so repetitive it becomes boring and once you're bored you have too much time on your hands and when you have too much time on your hands you're overthinking or you can be on the complete opposite end of the spectrum where you're so freaking busy but you're doing things that are super unfulfilling you're busy but are you busy with things that make you happy how much of the things that you're doing that are making you busy make you feel fulfilled without enough fulfillment in your daily life you're gonna end up feeling really bored you're not gonna feel happy you're gonna start questioning what's my purpose because you're not happy and that is why we need some new hobbies so something that i've done is started new hobbies which this summer it was going to the gym but because i made it a part of my lifestyle every single day i became bored again so now i incorporate yoga into my schedule but also like building skills i've been doing so much research on how to become a better content creator i film more youtube videos now i'm on a set schedule i'm posting more on instagram i'm learning how to be better on my platforms now i feel like i have no time to hang out with people but that's great because now i'm a busy girl and i love it <laughs> All right, so my camera just died, but that's okay because this is the end of the video. Anyways, those are the things I am taking into 2024. In order to have success and achieve the things you want, I think it's really important to fix up here first. Work with this, then the universe can work with you. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let's make 2024 our year. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mwah.